organizing is key. March 6th, organizing and doing little steps is key. That's how in the last three months of last year, I did more in those three months than I did the whole other nine months of that year, last year. The only difference that I did, I had my goals. I had my goals. I wanted to get my SIE license. I wanted to get my driver's license. I also wanted to get everything ready for the trip. I had those three goals in mind, but I didn't do nothing about it. Didn't do shit. Sorry for my language, but it's true. I didn't do nothing. It wasn't until I got my calendar. I have a calendar here, but I'll show you guys later. But I got my calendar. And every day I said, this is what I'm going to do today. And I'm not going to rest until I do this. When I had to study, I was like, I'm going to study this day, two hours, next day, gym, this day, two hours, next day, gym. And I said, I want to study 30 hours this this month. And I scheduled it out and I crossed it out. And when I say two hours, let's be honest, I didn't really do those two hours completely, not most of the time, but I dedicated that time frame in my mind. I was like, I know I can't do nothing. I can't watch videos. I can't do nothing. I just have to... The only thing I'm allowed to do those two hours is study. Study. I didn't even have a proper game plan of studying. Let's be honest. But as soon as you just start diving yourself into it, those two hours, I started a little bit. And then I made a game plan during those two hours of studying. And then I started getting better and better, more efficient, studying what I what I noticed I failed. And then, that, then after a month and a half, I was able to pass the SIE exam. And then I took a a month break from October. I didn't do nothing in October. And um, so that's maybe it wasn't the last three months. But I I know that in three months, I did more than what I did the whole effing year. So I took a a whole month off of doing nothing because I wanted to relax. It was a a tough month and a half or two months. And then I just focused on getting my driver's license. I just already already knew how to drive. I just wanted to practice parallel parking and all the other shenanigans. And then, boom, I studied it. I studied and I practiced what I needed to do. And I just scheduled it. I just scheduled it. Effort. I'll schedule it. It's better to have it scheduled than not. And I, I wrote down on the calendar when I was going to schedule it. I wrote down when I was going to practice parallel parking. Like the day I was going to do it. This day I'm going to practice. This day. It's not just like me saying, yeah, I have to practice. I have to do this. Hopefully up when I get the time, I'll spontaneously, I'll, I'll muster up the motivation to do it. No. 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 Schedule it and do it that day. You schedule. Do. Like I did super many steps. When I say you, I'm talking to myself. To myself in the future is going to watch this video. Do little steps. Please do little, little, little steps. Schedule a day to schedule the test. Schedule a day to schedule the test. That's how it is. You have to do the smallest steps because let's be honest, you can't do the big steps or at least your motivation. You're in. You can't do it. Do the small steps. Right now I'm trying to get my series seven. Um, I'm Right now I have a book for series six, but it's like almost, it's like series seven for the SIA securities license is way more, a little bit more than the series six books. Like, let's be honest, a little bit, a lot more, but I'm just doing that until I get approval from me, from my firm, from my, my part-time that I want to be full-time for my full-time, sorry, my full-time. I want to change my vocabulary, I'm learning that from another creator on here. Shout out to you. I don't remember your name, but shout out to you. I like that. Um, yeah. So I'm studying two hours every day, or two hours one day, one hour of studying the next day, and one hour of gym. I do exercise in the morning, and I write that down. I just just have to do small steps. It's not that I'm doing something huge. I'm literally just waking up, reading five pages or one page of a fucking book. And then doing 30, 30 push-ups, 30 squats, and 30 fucking ab exercises. And that's it. I'm not doing nothing more. I'll do the bare minimum until it's a fucking habit. 
And then I will expand on that later on. I'll get that discipline and add more and more and more and more. Like slowly I added more and more and more. I started doing 15 push-ups last year. I started doing 15 push-ups. And then, sorry, that was like two years ago. No, that, that was last year. I started doing 15 push-ups every day. And then from there, I escalated to, to 25, 30, 40, 50 push-ups I was able to do in, in one in one go. And then from there, I started going to the gym. Like from there, I went to the gym one hour a day. So I already built up that motivation, that momentum, that little ladder. That's it, that little ladder. And when you get back down, when you when crash down from that ladder, you can't just jump straight to the top. You got to do it again. Don't be encouraged. Don't be disencouraged. Sorry. Don't be unencouraged. Yes, whatever. Just don't be unmotivated or or feel like it, it was it wasn't worth it to go up and then to come way back down. Cause those steps will be ever so easier. I'm not starting from fifteen push ups, barely fifteen push ups, horrible form. I'm starting with thirty push ups, really good form, good breathing, good technique. So I'm in a way better base point than I was before. Just keep going. Keep doing it little by little. There's no way that if you do this every day, and every day you try to do a little bit more, there's no way you can't do it. You can't do one extra push-up. You can't do 31, 32, possibly in a couple of years. Who cares the time frame? As long as you're getting better, that's what matters.